car burglaries in the Knoxville city limits are up this year. And Knoxville police, well, they say an alarming number of those break-ins involve firearms being stolen. WAT6 on your side. Reporter Jordan Brown joins us now here in the studio to break down the numbers and share what police are asking of the public tonight. Jordan? Yeah, Bo, preliminary reports show there's a 30% increase in vehicle burglaries this year. And what Knoxville police tell me is most of these break-ins are what they call crimes of opportunity. More simply put, the criminals are, for the most part, Part, getting into cars with unlocked doors. Let me show you this map of reported car burglaries and reported stolen vehicles in the city over the last 30 days. Now you can find this on the Knoxville Police Department's website and all those little green marks represents a report of a crime. But according to the data from KPD, most of these can be prevented. Knoxville Police has a few tips for you. Simply lock your car, hide any valuables, or remove those valuables from the car. With car burglaries on the rise in the city, doing these things could save you a lot of headache down the road. They're largely pretty preventable in, in nature. But what's alarming KPD the most is what thieves are taking from cars. Well over 100 in all of 2020 reports of auto burglaries where a firearm was stolen from the vehicle as well. Um, this year in 2021, we're already over 60. The last thing police want is for hundreds of guns to be in the wrong hands. Stolen firearms are often used in the commission of other violent crimes to include homicides. Uh, unnecessarily puts the public at risk. This isn't confined to the city. Car burglaries and attempts are happening in the county as well. But it's safe to say the same rules apply everywhere. And if the door is locked more times than not, they're going to move on. Now, Knoxville police has their hands pretty full. I'm told preliminary reports show there have been over 1,200 car break-ins just this year. Bo? My goodness. All right, Jordan, thank you very much. And if you catch someone trying to break into a car, police say you should not try to confront them. Instead, call 911.